wealthiest 1% of the population in this country owns more wealth than the bottom 90%. So if we're going to talk, I guess it's not interesting, Mr. Chairman. Capitalism is great, but there's so much greed and so much money goes outside of this country that they've become criminals. You know, I've been saying this for 20 years and he's saying the same exact thing that I've been saying forever, so I'm here to support Bernie Sanders. Frederick Douglass said it right, freedom is never given to you. It has to be fought for. This is the fight for the soul of our democracy. Yeah. And we will not be silenced. Mr. Speaker, it is incumbent upon us to do everything in our power now that the war has started to prevent unnecessary bloodshed and to support our troops in the most basic way by bringing them home alive and well. He's the candidate that I've wished for my entire adult life. We deserve to have our tax money pay for things that we need, like better infrastructure, better education, and not wars. Because right now, 61% of our taxpayer money goes towards wars that I don't think our country really wants to be involved in anymore. Bernie says, dream big, we can have it all. Stop giving the money for perpetual war. It's time we showed America some love. I love Bernie, he's my hero. The American people hold the President of the United States in contempt. They hold this institution in contempt. They hold the Republican Party in contempt. They hold the Democratic Party in contempt. They think that maybe, given all of the crises facing this country, it's about time that there was some bold leadership here and that this institution made some hard choices. And this is what the choice is about. We are spending $270 billion a year on the military, but we don't have a major enemy. I used to get gas when I was a teenager demonstrating against the Vietnam War. Bernie was in all the way, he's been in all the way, I'm in all the way. The same ones that would put homos in the military, the same ones that would not fund Mr. Brad. Chairman. Sit down, you socialist. Now my ears may have been playing a trick on me, but I thought I heard the gentleman a moment ago say something, quote unquote, about homos in the military. You have insulted thousands. I'm here for Bernie because he stood by me since day one when it comes to gay rights. In America today, we have more people in jail than any other country on earth, including China, an authoritarian communist country with a population four times our size. How does that happen? I work in criminal justice reform. He's the only one who's truly committed to decreasing over-criminalization and mass incarceration. He hasn't accepted any donations from private prisons. That's the only way he really can promote criminal justice reform. You're telling corporate America they cannot have it all! He's the only guy I know that is willing to work for union members and workers in general. He doesn't want to ship our jobs to other countries. He cares about Americans and American workers. We are the greatest country in the history of the world, but there is something wrong when, if current economic trends continue, the young people in our country will have a lower standard of living than their parents. We are moving in many respects in exactly the wrong direction. I have two small daughters and um, I think the last time that I thought that I was really, really proud to be an American, I was probably five years old and um, Bernie Sanders gives me hope. No president can do what has to be done unless Millions of Americans come together and say loudly and clearly, enough 